Hello, I'm Susanna Butley for Radio News Hub in Italy. I'm back in the market town of Melignano, which lies about 11 miles south of Milan. We're in phase two of the lockdown here. So as you can see, face masks are still compulsory, but it also means people can now visit both their family and friends. And from this week, shops, bars and restaurants have been permitted to open their doors. It also means this bustling market can resume, although there are still some restrictions in place. The market area is cordoned off with separate entrance and exit points to control the flow of shoppers. Market stalls, bars and shop entrances all provide antibacterial hand gel, which customers are encouraged to use. Larger chains even provide gloves. Melignano is in the northern region of Lombardy and the decision for the county to move into phase two of the quarantine was a surprising one. The region alone has had over 90,000 confirmed COVID-19 cases and over half of the deaths in Italy were in this area. Yet the local government chose not to use their devolved powers and reopened non-essential businesses at the same time as the rest of the country on the 18th of May. However, not all businesses can afford to reopen. Shops, cafes, bars and hairdressers who have a space smaller than the 45 square metres are only allowed one customer in at a time, meaning many can't make enough money to cover their basic costs. For now, the Italian government's gamble on health versus economy seems to be paying off. It's been over three weeks since people here have been allowed to interact more freely, yet the numbers of people catching coronavirus has continued on a downward curve. Perhaps it's too early to tell. Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conti says they won't hesitate in closing down the country again if the infection rate begins to rise. For now, if things go to plan, on the 3rd of June, there'll be an easing of restrictions from region to region, allowing people to move freely there. And visitors will also be welcomed by plane and won't have to observe a self-isolation period. Could it be that Italy has already found its new normal? Only time will tell. I'm Susanna Butley for Radio News Hub in Italy.